So what's a really good example of signal detection theory, P? Well, the classic uh, example is back from the Second World War when the theory was first developed of people would look at their radar screens of potentially trying to spot enemy planes coming over. And they needed to decide, is this a plane that I'm seeing as a blip on my radar screen, or is it a flock of birds or something that's safe? You know, you've got these two very different situations. So if it's a flock of birds, bye. If it's a plane, you have to send up your squadron to Absolutely, fight them. Absolutely. You yeah. don't want to make a mistake. The two very different actions to take and two very different situations. Mm -hmm. And it's that combination of the two situations and the two actions that constitute signal detection And, and the costs of doing each of them. Uh, also the costs, yeah, the different payoffs for, you know, is it a waste to send up um, planes? Well, it is if it's just a flock of birds, but of course it's crucial to send up those planes if, if it's actually uh, enemy planes that you've so, spotted So in that circumstance, it sounds like false alarms would be normal and expected. You should send it up sometimes. Yeah, sometimes um, the crew will be sent up and they'll discover, oh no, it was just a flock of birds. Now, this is just like trying to diagnose appendicitis. Right. I mean, doctors are taught um, you should have a certain number of operations you do where there isn't any appendicitis, because yeah. if you only wait to make sure it's appendicitis, some people are going to die. Absolutely. The cost of saying, oh, let's wait, could be fatal for somebody. Yes. False alarms are normal and useful sometimes. Absolutely. And one of the difficulties, of course, for, for doctors these days, the world we're heading into, is that we're starting to have to put some kind of value on life associated with the cost of the operations and so on. And that's a really fraught area, I think, with uh, the morality of, of when you do and don't do operations just for safety and checking. So let's come back and talk about where signal detection theory came from. Okay.